one of the things to remember is this, is that you, what, this is what most trainers do. Let's, let's, talk, let's look at the path of a normal trainer. So a trainer will come along, he will formulate a course. Now the first question is, and I ask you these guys this question, how do you decide what course to make? That's a good question. Now I've come up with train the trainer, mental warrior, call of destiny, elite retreat, secret millionaire blueprint. And I used to have a whole bunch of others, which I've kind of put to the side at the moment, which I probably won't do, but whatever. But how do you decide what course to give? Because like Zenobia, Zenobia has a whole basket of courses. Like maybe, maybe too many. But she has a whole bunch. Uh, how many of you already have courses uh, already made? One, two, three. Okay, four of you. So if I ask you, how do you decide on what this course should be about? How would you decide that? My course. Your course. You can use the mic. How would you know that my course is correct? How do I know? I mean, I'm, I'm doing a call. Let's say I'm doing a call of destiny. There's content in that course. How do I know that this content is going to be, maybe one, good enough? Number two, will people buy it? Will people want it? How do I know? Like, y you want to do sales, for example, right? How do I know that the course he creates will be good enough for corporates to send their people there? How do I know that? She may want to do a, a program on gratitude. Who wants gratitude? How, what do I know if gratitude is the market right now? We don't know. Do we know? So we, most trainers will create content based on what they think will sell. But it's got to be done logically. It can't just be, you know what, I like goal setting. Let's do goal setting. So how do you decide in your example? First of all, it should meet the objective. And now I'm asking you how you decide. No. So you, you made a course right now. Right. How did you decide what course to do? I. I wanted to uh, train uh, on how to make buy and sell decisions, you know, so okay. and, and how to make money no matter what the market conditions are. Okay, so how do you know that that is what people want? Because people w want to make money. Okay, in the so market. He, he, his analysis is that an assumption that people want to make money. Therefore, that is the best way to present and your product yourself. Right. At the same time, I could, I could realize that, you know, whatever mistakes I had done in my past, I, I wanted to share those and make sure that, you know, people don't repeat those mistakes. Okay. So now he's making an assumption, I'm going to make an assumption that the mistakes he's made are probably all the possible mistakes anyone can ever make. So I'm going to teach you that, therefore you'll never make a mistake, which is true or false, not true. Because I could be a stockbroker or a, stock, a market trader. I can make 10 mistakes that you haven't made. So what I'm trying to make you analyze is that how do you decide what course to make? Depending on the, the instruction, reading the newspaper. Okay, the newspaper says terror alert, fear in Mumbai, tsunami coming. Okay. So how do you do a survey? Because that's timing. I mean, do I go and interview 10 people? Do I interview 50 people? What do I do? How do I decide? But then we all know that 90% of trainers sell the wrong course. Speak to trainers. See the Okay, we're handing out some stuff, so please don't read it yet, because that's where you get the answer goes. <laughs> You've all got folders, right? So we're gonna, as we hand out handouts, you just stick them in your folder. And, uh, they're numbered anyway. Okay. And I'll Yeah. You guys have to uh, do me a favor and try to transfer this mic, otherwise you won't get a recording. There's two mics here. Yeah? Sorry. Uh, I don't know if this, re this is relevant, but um, this is a philosophy that I follow is what you, uh, what's important is that you're good at what you're doing. Okay? So you go after excellence, not after success. So when you're, when you're thinking about a course, you think about what you're good at. Okay. But what if what you're good at is not what people want? But if you're the best in the field, then people will eventually come to you. Because what, if the market, what if you're good at cricket? Right. Which you are. Right. And you can coach people on 
yeah. cricket. Right. But there's a hundred coaches on cricket. Right. What if people don't want a coach? Because they've got coaches. What if they want a a person to teach cricket through motivation and psychology? What if that's a bigger market? What if I don't know? Yeah, yeah, true. Got that. So I'm asking, how do you decide? Because what you may be good at could actually be a hundred things. Yeah. You may think you're good at cricket, right? But if you break it down, I could probably make about fifty courses from that. Right. Fifty. Easy. Yeah, you're just giving an example. How do you gain yeah. confidence through cricket? Yeah. How do you, how do you use public speak with the attributes of Sachin Tendulkar? Right. The ten secrets of the top cricketers for success. Motivational program. I mean team building. How to use cricket? How the Indian cricket team uses the team building skills to achieve success, we're going to reveal these secrets today. I mean, how many courses can you make? You can make a billion courses. But the point I'm trying to say is, how do you decide? What do you decide? Because the biggest challenge is this, that you may make a great seminar, what if nobody wants it? What people want is when you And what do most people do? They always make programs that they think are good. I've done all this before. I'm just telling you, I've made some fantastic programs that nobody ever wanted, apart from me. <laughs> and why did I want to do those programs? Because they were actually my weaknesses. We tend to pick subjects that yeah. we want to really improve on. True. Very true. So that, that may not necessarily be the right thing to do anyway. Okay. So then if you want to know what, what people want, newspapers, internet, media, so talk around, Friends. circles, what are people going through nowadays in life? What's, what's happening? What's new? Like married, like a rate of divorce is going up. So then, the problem with that is that you have to do spend a lot of time doing surveys. You have to find out the source of the survey, whether it's authentic, what's the poll. I mean, let's let's not make something so dependable okay, okay. on something other.